Number one, who's the first person that listens to your music? First person. Or you put it out. I usually send it to B, honestly. Like, regardless of what it's about, I usually send it to her because she gives me good feedback. But it's probably not super honest. She always, like, kisses my butt and tells me that it's amazing, regardless of how bad it is. So, B. <laughs> What's one thing you always have to bring with you on tour? Oh, my gosh. I'm trying to think of something that's not cliche. Actually, I love bringing my tennis rackets. I love playing tennis with the band on tour. It's a good, good way to stay active because I'm so lazy. And then Dead or Alive, who would you want to be stuck in an uh, elevator with? Oh, my gosh. Ed Sheeran. I feel like he is, like, the best. I met him and talked to him. He's, like, such a nice guy and also so talented, so definitely Ed. All right, I love it. One question I always wanted to ask you real quick. You, you came on the MadCon tour. I met you there, and it seems like there was, like, a little bit of, like, weirdness and stuff. Is that something that you, like, put behind you or? I don't know. I feel like it was a good process. You know, we all, we all have kind of, like, gone our separate ways now. You know, I'm still super close to Sean and Mahogany and everyone else, but um, I feel like it was good for everyone, but I think it's a thing to, like, kind of leave in the past, at least for me. Yeah. But it, I'm, I'm not, like, I have no beef with anyone. Like, I respect everyone in that group, and I wish them, like, the best of luck. So. And now you're freaking killing it. Congratulations, man. Can't wait to see your performance.